Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Sparta, well, now, Peloponnesian League playthrough, where things are going better. I've just about recovered my stability after the horrific time we had before. Um, I've, yeah, we just had a little bit of a brutal war against Macedon and her vast set of allies, uh, but we have weakened her now. Macedon is... Pretty much done. No, and my magistrate died. Oh, we've got a few available decisions. I don't want to do that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Uh, I don't have starving pops. What is it on about? Oh, it's because they were looted territories. That'll fix itself. And that fixes that. Fixes that. And we have an unused trade route. Don't think I've got any money making ones, so research ones are good. New. I will take 10% extra manpower, because that is still quite nice. And some of my armies are low on food. That is a huge problem. Uh, let me think. I'm trying to work out where the best fortification positions are. Here would be good, straight up, because it would give us those two. But here will stop them moving forwards. Um, I want to keep that one. Most of my fortifications, I sound staff. I want a lot of my, most of my fortifications. Here is already being cityed. Yes, so they are both. Nope, this place needs to be cityed. Um, so I need money for that. That is for my mission. Um, Basically this time guys we are going to chill for a while and just let everything build up again. Crete is still a target but it's the, uh, I'm not going to actually click it now, but it's the, the range of allies they can throw together. Actually you no, know, they're not too bad with just because it would just be massed on the roads. Um, obviously Phrygia is still a threat even if she is somewhat weaker. Macedon. No, it is doing reasonably well, Frace. Yeah, that's fine. And, you know, Frace is powerful, but again, I am one of the leading powers at the moment, so. Nice. Things are definitely going the right way here. Rome is. Scary, but not that scary. I, I could fend off Rome still. Um, the Rome is rather populous, but I don't think she beats the might of Sparta. But who does? Ooh, my blind general has died. Let's go to speed four. Popping the best person in there, even though he's not actually all that great. Oh, wow. We, we got a lot of prisoners there. It's time for a little bit of tyranny. I can soak that. Yeah, my people are still actually really quite happy, so... These guys, this is what happens when you defy the Peloponnesian League. They declared war on me as well, remember guys? Oh no, sorry, no, it was me this time, wasn't it? Originally they declared war on me. Okay, that's, um, yeah. 
get uh, some more people in Sparta herself. Oh, we need to move these, don't we? I was asked two ages ago, and I've basically been stuck in war. So, Argos should be the capital. Athens should be the capital. I think I'm going to leave Corinth here, though it is probably the better city. Uh, I mean, there's not a huge benefit in moving it, but... Um, so I'm not in any massive rush. Oh, Pella should definitely give a capital here. Ooh. Make sure I'm actually moving it to Pella. Just moving the capital to more sensible locations. It, it's more an aesthetic thing. I don't really care about that. Um, and obviously Sparta herself. Hmm. Still got the alliance, but oh, how are they? What? Right, I need an army. I am going to smash into this re revolt. And try and take them and bring them into my power. Good for your double timing. Uh, yeah, they can get a granary. Where else do they hold? Crete, however. They will get some allies in. Do I really care? Nope. I have lovely claims there. I should be able to beat them with this single army. Let us make damn sure uh, economy, economy, economy that my ships are being maintained. Right, down, land, back. No! She's gained arthritis. Arthritis. Uh, however I say it. She, she's got better over, over her life. And her child, a 20 year old child, is actually reasonable now. He's not the best, he's not the worst. See, if, can we marry him to somebody better? What's his lowest stat? Religion. I'm not that fussed by their religious ability. Ooh. Four, three, no, it's not good enough. Um, eight, seven, four, and five. That, they're good, they're better all around. It's a bit older, but that's fine. There we go. It's not a huge issue yet, but for the future, that could be something we need to be better. Land the forces. Oh, really? You really think that was a good idea? Oh, God. They caught my navy. Get my navy out of there. To be fair, I'm going to advance on there aggressively. Batter their forces there. 
easy victory, then we'll make their fall, which probably doesn't have much food, and we will pretty much capture everything we want. I will need to move into the Cretan, the Cretan capital as well, but... No! My husband! Ooh. He's actually quite good, because that's my... L that would help. There we go. Uh, first of all, religious one, which I don't really care about. But not the really disloyal person. There we go. That's actually perfect for me. I kind of like them taking my settlements. Missions, missions, missions. What am I lacking? So, uh, import wood, and one of the following must be true. Ugh. Syros is the capital. Where is Syros? Can't change that now. I'll take that. I can afford to take the loss. I like them taking territory. Because that actually works quite well for them. We'll hold the Olympics. We'll smash them. Work our way down. Religious observances... I have to skint myself briefly. Wait for it. Now. Mm, the enemy are recapping territory. That is a bit annoying. I should have maybe left that army in peace. We will capture as much as we can, as quick as we can. Because if I can make those guys a minor power effectively as well, it will massively reduce uh, the chances of them keeping their alliances because there'll be very little point in it. And this is uh, effectively a diversion island. I'm never going to really worry about it. It'll probably have quite a few fortifications on it. But if it gets smashed, I don't care. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry! I know, love how much I'm leveraging my aggressive expansion here. That is quite dangerous. Each of them needs two markets. <laughs> no. Basically, I want to control you utterly. I'm almost tempted to march over, sail over there, but not that worried. I want them to take there so I can take it straight afterwards. I mean, I'd take them as a feudatory, but no, I'm not really that fast. I w I'm just going to take their territory utterly. 
having them as a vassal would be useful, but because it means I wouldn't have to worry about this territory, but at the same time, I would still end up worrying about it. I'm going to keep offering this, and I'm going to keep declining. I still love these place, these bits in Rome, but Rome is, yeah. That advance is quite scary, though it's not high you know, value territory. That's going to be Rome's main opposition, but even that's not huge, and obviously Carthage. So that's hopefully going to keep Rome busy, but I am obviously a major threat to Rome still, though I've not really played that card a huge amount yet. This was a good, fun, small campaign. Okay, so we just need to get that one done. Hmm. So, Syros. I do have two imports, so I can change what we're importing there to make sure it covers the right things. Ah, oh. We will eventually deify a ruler, guys. Little grumpy these guys managed to recapture their territory, but uh, we, We've lost the green we gained last time We have an Egyptian army here, okay Could land and take there. He's a good city. No, I'm not not willing to risk sailing out. There we go. <laughs> okay, we were on the verge of a civil war briefly then. These guys are all good, however, you could use a holding. I guess for now that army is going to sit there. small ships but some bigger ships just upping my navy a bit I know I'm not a, not a, wow Phrygia is getting a uh, butt kicked once again Phrygia is basically gone wow that'll be why I saw an Egyptian army Egypt is a proper power I mean I don't even want to know Whew. Egypt is probably the biggest threat to me at the moment out of any of the other powers and is a worry actually. I reckon I could fight them off simply because of the terrain we've got, but uh, welcome. I wish there was an easy way of seeing um, foreigners. Ah, 
There is. I quite like granting them citizenship. Because it just gives us lots of fresh blood. I can't do it for him. Ooh, we lost somebody. But you are good. That is why I should have left my son un unmarried, because I could have waited. Ooh. Ooh. There are no funds, but that's all thinks it is because he knows the solution. Your ruler has the intelligence trait. Oh, wow. We gained plus 5%. That's really good, actually. So apparently we also already oh we produce or import fish, so I need to import some wood or olives. And then I need to save up till six hundred. I'm gonna take this army off here for now, but oh we see that alliance is a pain. These guys are going to be sailed straight into Argos. Point of these cities is just these fortifications isn't really. It's to slow any invasions down a bit because we've got the income, so. Um, It really is just a uh, slow the enemy down that little bit. You guys can go into independent operations if I'm invaded because um, we are so open to invasion from the sea, actually. So I do have quite a lot of fortifications, but I'm quite happy to maintain them. No, oh, that's not worth it. They're already changing culture quickly enough, so... That's gonna help a bit. Yeah, just a little. So changing everything over to a bit more wealth producing there, um, which has pushed that up nicely. I do need to save up some cash at the moment, so. Citizens, please. Uh, that's fine, I don't need disability. I'm happy as I am, am for now. I do have some claims, but I don't need... I mean, I would like to capture all of this, but... I don't need it yet. I mean, I've got most of that, that coastline claimed as well. Skyros, where is that? Needs to have three foundry buildings.
Basically, I'm doing this to get the flagships. For well, not particularly cheap, actually. But you can get various things from the exhibition. Ex blah, 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 blah. So you're going to embellish Sparta. That is a hugely important one. That is actually the end thing. I don't think I'm going to... Hmm. That is end of game, actually. But that's the key one, the embellishment of Sparta. 15% extra tax from Sparta will be lovely. No, let's not spend that money. To be fair, I don't need to expand massively now. I am powerful in my own right now. Um, there are threats around me, and we will slowly expand, but I'm not in any rush. Nope, I want to save my money. So let's have a look at the world. Britannia's still a mess. Carthage is turning into quite a powerhouse. They're vying with Rome, which is good, though she's not a patch on Rome at the moment. She might make a good ally at long run. Egypt is scary. Phrygia is dead. The Seleucids look to be going for it. Wow. Eh. So they really do look to be going for it. Um, Moria has not managed to expand. If anything, I think she's gained some territory there. But yeah. So she's had a bit of a mixed game. Arnia has grown. The Bosphorus Kingdom was huge earlier, I seem to remember, but has collapsed. Was that my last game? But yeah, Rome is expanding in an odd direction there. I wouldn't have expected that. Which means they're probably potentially not going to clash as much. But these guys are all Carthaginian allies. So, you know, Rome must be worried about that. We're heading towards that one. That is the key one. Oh, that's horrible. I literally hate these invest in because that I found out what that means. It takes bloody ages. I not care. Don't care about the prospecting. Um. I'm not so fast by that. That is what I want to get to. To be fair, I could do with doing that. Uh, that is nice. Hmm. What? Oh God! I'm a noob. Let's do it because we're building the ships up. So we we'll construct the flagships. Let's just have a look at my laws. Hmm, not much I can actually change. Every cloud. There we go. I lack the influence. Um, that potentially be worth changing. It's 
Some of these are a delicate balancing acts. So if you do one, you need to do kind of the alternate on the other side. So, uh... But I'm fine as we are. You know, we don't really need any these laws. So, that's quite nice, actually, though. That gives me, uh... Loyalty for governors. So, there's one over here which will give me plus loyalty for governors. Yeah, so, non-interference... Uh, they balance each other really nicely, actually, and they're both income generators, so... Flagship's completed. Ooh. There we go. Uh, why I made somebody the commander? Because it doesn't really matter, because they're all being merged together. by far the best one. So my fleet is beginning to come along. Actually, that's why I didn't want to do that. Melagids. Helenids are better. Minor character. Not worth it. That works. She's young as well, so she'll stay in power for long. It's a bit of a hit at the moment, and we do have quite a lot of aggressive expansion, but I'm not overly worried about that, so... I love it. Lit written in places. It's such a big name, but it just takes up so much. I think it's probably... The Selicid Empire is probably another very big. It kind of had just been Peloponnesian, or the Peloponnese would be better. Um, or having the ability just to keep it as Sparta. Because let's be honest, they are all under Spartan leadership. The pathetic Athenians and Corinthians were, were banished long ago. And the Phoebe. Uh, crucify the handlers. Gain a bit of tyranny? I don't care. Oh, wow. Culturally, we are... Doing quite well. I'm sure if I zoom in, it's not quite as. No, no, we are literally in religion. Obviously, we're all Hellenic, including the Romans. So that is good. And it's making inroads there, though that's potentially going to change. Looks like um, Egypt didn't embrace her Hellenic roots. Straight into the income, please. We are going to do a law change, because I spend quite a lot on army maintenance. So we're doing this one here, and then I'm going to do non-interference. So that is loyalty minus 10 for generals, plus 10 for generals. So exemption for nobility on taxation laws. This drops us down to 40, and I want to do that one, but I can't afford to, and I need more, my stability up a bit first. Which will get me more income, income. And that'll help everything massively. But these things all balance each other out. So with domestic laws, I could also do the other one, but I'm not really that fussed by that. And these ones I can't do yet. Eventually, we'll have King of Kings. I'm not fussed by that one. Divine stature. Oh. 
That's quite good. Oh, has our population, our popularity dropped? Please stop dying, people. You're actually just as good as anybody else. That's fine. A bitter feud. Eh, let them fight. Probably better was Prosos. There we go. Again, not planning on any major wars just at the moment, and they are a tributary of Macedon. Though Macedon, I could potentially, over time, Macedon is going to lose some of these. There we go. We have the money left over. So now we need to invest in trade routes. I hate doing these because they take too goddamn long. I don't know if I could have done that before. Yeah, free news. I suspect I couldn't. I'm not fussed by that one, to be fair. Okay. This is a great thing to be doing while we're chilling and not actually fighting any major wars, he said while. No, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. be a huge war. We all know I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to sail these guys down here. We're going to norm up the rest of that. This will be a shorter war because the, the, the war goals are not huge. Um, I will potentially lose some islands and it gives me a chance to gobble up another chunk of mass on. who shouldn't be able to bring everybody in, and we definitely have the forces in to batter her. Oh, one day Athens will be free, under my rule, but she'll be free from her uh, Phrygian overlords. I'm surprised she's not declared freedom already, if I'm honest, because, you know. Though I guess she is a, a shadow of her former self. Stop bickering! I'm going to sail straight down into here. As soon as we land, we're going to engage this war. I want to keep this one short. Liberating more Greeks from their Macedonian overlords here. Because let's be honest, guys, these guys were Macedonian thralls, so uh, let's not pretend that the, the Macedon wasn't controlling them. 
So Mastodon still has a fairly powerful navy, so I don't want to go... I want to be a little careful. easily defeat there. I'm not going to push over to Kimdos there. I mean, I could take out Rhodes. Ooh. You're going to move around there. No, you're going to move over to Knossos on however you actually pronounce that. I don't know. I think you say Knossos. Um, for now. As soon as here falls, we will uh, look at moving on again. Ooh, so we are going to get a little invasion of our... Let's go catch that tiny little fleet, please. They're probably going to make a landing, but i hopefully going to get the opportunity to batter them. And if I can trap them on that island, that's even, that's even better. There we go. Oh, we're not going to catch them. They're faster than me because they're little ships. In which case, I'm going to go siege them. I'm going to go take Rhodes herself. So my, I'm not going to invade there, I'm not going to invade there has turned into I'm invading there. And I guess they have some little bits, islands there I would quite like. Oh, that's Macedonian. Oh, no, no, get into port, 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 get into port, stay away from that Macedonian fleet. No, I don't want to do that. I'll save my money for now. I don't want to do that one. Trying to capture some of these little islands. Keep an eye out for their goddamn fleet. Come on, catch it! No, 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 no! Damn. We are going to pull out of that battle. It's fine. That is what I wanted to avoid, and why I probably shouldn't have been sailing into battles there. Though I didn't lose any ships. I'm not far off being able to defeat their fleet, so... Right, let's move. I'm basically going to drop the army off and get back to safety. That's got all the buffs. Right, fall back while we capture there. Here's about to fall. Just need to remember Sparta can't sneak around behind us. No! Somebody died. Uh, they're from a family, so even though they're not technically better. 
they're worth using. Fast expansion here. Oh, if I can capture that unit there, that's good. I guess we'll take precious metals for the assimilation speed. Nice. I know they're going to hit from behind, but it's... You can come and defend. Yeah, we are not allowing attachments, so that's all good. We're not going to recapture Pella. Not on my watch, anyway. Yeah, we have claim right out of there. So this is quite a nice expansion, I've got the opportunity. Good God, stop dying people. Hmm. Oh damn bloody useless families. So this one is going a bit better than the previous wars, to put it mildly. Battering them back there. Places are usually huge. Because this is the was the Phoebean capital. It's usually huge. Oh, arrival at court. Enough of this nonsense. Want arrival. Damn it, Rhodes has got bloody fortifications bloody everywhere. I think I'm just going to hold this line for now, to be fair. There's no reason not to hold the line. We are winning. The war score is going completely our way. Really? No. We're getting there, guys. That's going to be beautiful. State Macedon. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but it would be interesting. It would take forever to bring them to heal. But I could theoretically client state them just to watch the other way. Um, long run, I might do that. Um, 
be an interesting one, because I could literally client state them as my buffer that way. But no, I don't want to do that. I want to capture all of here, and then we're going to look at Magna Gracia over here. Um, I would like to capture all of Magna Gracia long run as well. Of course we're holding the Olympics. Oh god, I didn't even see their fleet come and hit me. But we did well out of that. We gained ships. And damage to my ships. And we're now losing a lot of ships. Good god, a lot of our good ships just went to the bottom. Bit of a buff for my fleet there. Kind of having to abandon them. I just want to get these guys somewhere they can repair. Which isn't there. Make a make a break for Knossus. Knossus. Ooh. Why have they, are they now at war with me separately? Knidos. Oh, they've got a revolt. Oh, really? The little island I already held. Ah, I'm not that fussed by that. He's not even in my nation. I love the way that my vassals are now going nuts for me. This is literally going to break the final back of uh, Macedon. Right, we've got the stability now. Let's pass that other law. Balances out the disloyalty, drops and gains, and ups my income nicely. Which is good as we are doing a humongous amount of naval building. So actually, theoretically, I could take more than that, but I don't have, you know, I don't want to go too nuts where I don't have claims. Um, so happy with what we've currently got. Um, I think my next move will be to uh, try and bring Macedon under the heel after that, because having them as a little buffer state there would be useful. And potentially look at doing the same with Thrace. Um, no... I'll think about it, because actually taking the, the Greek side of here is something I do kind of want to do. And Phrygia is weak enough now, but they're not a huge worry. Hell, if I'm going to do that, I may as well just go for it. Get as much as I can. Can't quite do that. Nope, you're going to march down there. 
And that means I control the end, you know, the one side of that at least. No, Macedon, you are not going to come there. The, the, our armies are going to batter you. The uh, valiant legions here are going to absolutely take them apart. We may as well push this war as far as we can at this point. So that's the tricky thing we need to watch. Because I can't obviously can't put that over a hundred. So that's what we want. And we don't need much more to make that happen. Oh, my fleet accidentally won a battle there. Oh, God damn it. Right, I want that. I want that. I want that. That'll do. Yeah, that's literally the perfect amount. Just checking I've not missed anything. Okay. Uh, remain unscathed. Put them to the sword. That. That is huge. Oh, we need a new governor up here. You, sir, can be the new governor up there. And I need a couple of fortifications here at least. That's really nice. Really don't care about this war. We need to finish it, so we will deal with that. We'll pick them up and we'll go smash that little island into oblivion. Happy to leave the fortifications down here. I thought it was hubby dying again. It wasn't. Oh, God damn it, did I forget about that? There we go, let's get another trade in. Investment done. Go land on that island. Macedon has expanded massively there. They are actually... Oh, no. No, that's not Macedon. I thought well, Macedon is in there, but... Macedon has become a footnote. One day we'll have enough territory that the Peloponnesian League won't look tiny where it's, the way it's written. Considering we started as pretty much the city-state, I'm quite happy with this. OK. 
Okay. Anyway, guys, that is where we're going to leave this one after my um not so careful playthrough. <laughs> Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please do feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments in the description as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games. So please check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>